Hi guys. Today I'm, I want to show you one designer, and he's really talented and he has sick designs. Like I really felt in love when I see first them. So his name is Frank Buschwald, and he's a German designer, and he creates creates the lights in the steampunk style and they're really cool looking and like literally like out of this world designs so he has this series called the machine lights and we're gonna create them one by one in a few tutorials and let's start with the easiest one and um, so you can find him in frankbushwald.com and I'll put this link in the description so you can uh, go and find these images so basically you go here in his website you can click the series and he has different kind of lights here and we're gonna create them one by one and now we're gonna start from this one because this is the easiest one so we click here and then press see more details and we have three more pictures of this light and we can click to see bigger version of this image so I already downloaded all three and I'm gonna put this image in my 3D Max scene to start creating so when the Max is open I'm going to create a plane and get rid of these segments, extra unused segments and um, let's see what is the resolution of the image I use old ACDC and it shows me the resolution and it's 1000 to 750 so let's make the size of this plane exactly this so let's make it 1000 to 75 like 715 and that's it let's copy this drag and drop here and let's make it backwards so it doesn't interfere with our modeling process and we can take it back even more and now I want this image to be self-eliminated so let's pick this image and from this self illumination let's increase it make it 100 also I want this image to be unclickable now I can click it on them so I right click on this plane choose object properties and then press freeze and choose show frozen in gray Okay, so we remove this show rose and gray and choose freeze, and press OK. Now it's there, but I can select them. And that's great. So, first, I'm gonna create these legs, and basically, the back part I don't need, I'm gonna orient with the front leg. So, let's create from the front. I lost my ah it's not from that's why okay let's start by creating leg from the plane so I'm gonna create this plane here and I'm gonna press alt and X to be able to see through this plane and convert it to a little poly and now I'm gonna use edge to model this entire leg and now I'm going to press F4 to see the edges and that's it so I'm dragging here and let's make it a little bit thicker okay uh, now I'm gonna hold shift and drag to create additional polygon and I do the same with here 
like this. Now I'm gonna do like take this upper vertice and drag here and go back to edge again and take it down. And then I'm gonna press Z or maybe Y to fix this like this. Okay, now I need to make this part rounded, so I'm gonna take this edge and choose chamfer. I'm gonna make this one round and upper part I'm gonna do manually. So let's press chamfer. Let's add, add extra segments here. Let's adjust this like this and press OK. Now let's correct this manually. Yes, something like this. Okay, now I like this. So now, uh, but we don't have any thickness here. So let's press Alt X and add shell modifier to give thickness to this. Okay, I guess this one is good. The thickness is okay, and now let's add symmetry modifier to create the left part of the leg. Mm, symmetry. It goes all the way to the left. Now I need to fix it. Press here, and now I'm able to move the center part of this symmetry. So something like this, and it's a good now. I think this down part is a little bit smaller than here. So let's fix first this part. Let's scale it down a little bit. And now let's show and symmetry. So in both sides, we have the same result. Now let's convert to editable poly. Okay. I don't need this extra edge here. I guess we have extra vertices too. Remove it. Now let's remove this edge too. Remove. And that's it. We have one leg ready. Let's see what other images we have. So we have legs and on the top of these legs we have one big box. And this box is attached to the legs with the eight screws. One, two, three, four, and four on the back side. And that's it. So let's create this. Let's duplicate our leg. Okay. Now let's create this upper box. Let's attach this together and fix the pivot because pivot is here. Let's go here, here edge panel and choose a fake pivot only. And now press center to object so that the pivot goes to the center. Okay. Now let's create a box. I'm gonna create a box in the, from the top. So, because we don't have exact blueprints of this, we're gonna create this manually, like now let's convert to editable poly and fix these parts. Also let's fix the height.
Okay, move it down. Also, it shouldn't go out from the leg. Let's make it exactly the size of the leg. Great. Uh, I'm navigating through the views with the Alt and W. So when you in any viewport and in the viewport, for instance, this viewport is active. You see the yellow line here. And if you press Alt and W, it makes this view to full screen. And if you want to go back, you press Alt and W again. You go to the four viewport. Okay. So this is ready. And now let's create these screws. So we have one six sided nut here, and one cylindrical nut here, and the screw itself. And inside of this screw has six sides. So let's create it. Uh, first, I'm going to start with the cylinder. Let's create a cylinder. And let's get rid of height segments. And let's convert it to editable poly. And make sure that it has 18 sides because we're going to create this six sided hole inside of this cylinder and we need sides uh, to be dividable into six. So let's convert to editable poly and take this upper polygon and insert it. Press OK, and uh, I think it's good. Now let's do this. Let's take three vertices and scale them down like 10%. If you have a look here, it shows the percent. Now let's make it like five. And then take next three vertices and scale them down to five, two. And then other cylinder, other three vertices. Let's make them five. And then these ones, five. And these ones, down to five. And these ones. So after that, what we have here is six sided hole. So you can make it bigger with the scaling it. I guess this is okay. And now let's extrude it down. You can fix it by hand. like this and now I need to create this small nut here I can copy this and clone to different object and scale it down and close the hole here Cap. also change the color so that it's Visible that it's a different object. Uh, let's scale it a little bit. Mm, that's okay. Something like this. Let's chamfer this a little bit. So let's, in order to select these sides, we can't. Select it by double clicking, like 
our plating is not working here because we don't have any extra segments here and let's choose the polygon upper and lower and then press ctrl and choose edge and that's why we selected all those edges now let's chamfer uh, because we scaled it by hand the chamfer is not working properly so let's do fix it to fix it we go to the utilities panel and choose reset x form and press reset selected and then right click convert to an editable poly now let's do the same procedure and see if it works now now press chamfer and as you see it works now let's make it a little bit smaller like 1.5 and add extra segments so that it gets a little bit rounded or maybe we do turbo smooth and then let's make it 0.1 and in case I because we are gonna make turbo smooth let's add extra segments here choose inset and press collapse where is my edit geometry so it needs to be here okay let's press collapse and add turbo smooth okay that's great now let's do the same with this object isolate this first see and we have lower part let's choose inset and collapse and later we can add chamfer here also here also here press chamfer and that's it we can even add li line, extra edge loop here. Select one of these edges and choose ring and add connect to the bottom part. So that bottom part is gets normal smooth too. Let's add turbo smooth and that's it. That's great. To fix them, we can add one, two lines, one top and one to the bottom. Okay, something like this. Then end isolate and we have nice screw here with the nut. And now we need to create this part. Let's copy this inner side down and choose clone to object. And we can create entire nut from this object. So let's take this. Actually, we're not going to see inside of this object. So basically, we can take upper and lower parts and make sure we have it on this first mode and scale it down by holding shift and make like two times one is small and second is a little big and press collapse to close the gap and because of the polygons looking inside we see it black so let's choose element and click select the entire object and press flip now let's add turbo smooth and we have nice nut only thing we don't have is like um, we need to add one two edge loops one to the top and one to the bottom so press ring and add connect two connects here 
Good. Maybe we remove these middle ones. Because it's too straight. I want it to be a little more smoothy. Okay, let's choose press control and backspace. Okay, this one is better. Okay, but it needs to be bigger like this. So I'm gonna fix the pivot first. Fix pivot only and center to object. And scale it. So I, why I'm fixing pivot? If I didn't fix the pivot, this I'll scale, it's, it will go down. That's why we need to fix the pivot and make it go to the object center. And then when we scale it, it stays in the place. Just it's bigger. Okay, so let's select all these three objects and place to its right place, like here. And because uh, we know that this screw goes to the leg, needs to be on the leg. So let's make it a little bit smaller. And okay, that's it. And let's make it go down. Also, we can go to the front and see the place of this screw. It's like very end, at the very end. Let's make it go down. And let's select this lower part and let's make it down too. I guess our screw needs to be a little bit bigger and go down. And our boxes need to be a little bit bigger from the downside. Let's select this bottom polygon and let's move it down like from this Z. Okay, now this is good. So what we can do like this, we can remove the turbo smooth from here and go here, select that and attach these two together. Let's change the color in both of them and make it group. Like maybe we should add the materials right away so that we're not going to have a problem with that. So let's add material here so it needs to be black say black metal and choose this one and add bronze metal okay now we can group them Okay, now let's copy this one to the right end and make it the instance. And then copy one here and copy two. That's it. And now let's select all four and go top view and duplicate one more time and this time it goes to the other leg. So we have legs ready. Now we need to create these, these parts. So they are basically the cylinders and one long box going through them okay so okay great let's start creating let's go i don't know what's wrong with my viewport this front all the time turns back to orthographic, I don't know what's the problem. 
maybe you know what's the problem and write in the comments to help me okay let's create a cylinder I know all of these three are the same so I'm gonna create one and duplicate so let's start creating from the upper part I'm gonna start creating here and rotate it upwards let's click here to make it angle snap tool active and by doing this we are rotating and stopping it on each 5 degree so, okay I'm gonna decrease the sides to 16 and convert it to editable poly and I'm gonna delete this bottom polygon and you see my front view changed to orthographic I don't know why I guess it's uh, some kind of bug of 3d max if you know how to fix it please help me okay now let's select this lower border and drag let's see if we have close close view of this part is it like stairs or it's just like smooth I think it goes smoothly it's not like stairs okay so it goes like this No, I guess this part goes from the lower part of this object. Now let's scale it down and drag down by holding shift. Uh, we didn't scale it down quite enough. Let's scale it down a little bit more. Okay, now it could a little bit. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Now let's scale it down. Okay. Let's make it all the way down. Let's scale it here. Scale it up. Let's move it down. And let's cap it. Like close it. Or maybe not. I guess this lower part this goes all the way to the one point. Something like this. Great. Now what we can do is like press polygon and choose this one and press scale and activate scale and press shift, scale it down and choose it to be a different object. Now let's select the newly created object. Let's fix the pivot first. Let's make it a little bit down. Okay, let's bring it here and add shell modifier. Let's shell and I can make it a little bit bigger, but this one is okay. And let's copy this three times like one, two, and three. Great, and let's copy it one more time, but this time I'm gonna make it bigger. Let's make it unique. Let's make it bigger. Like this. It's going all the way down here. Let's make it to the center. Okay, it's great. Now we need to create this back part. But I guess first I'm gonna 
remove this middle part, like upper part, and create a hole for the lamp. And let's select the upper part and choose inset. And then extrude it inside. Like this. We can delete this inside part. Now let's add Turbo Smooth modifier. I'm going to attach this once to my main object too and see how it behave how they behave when I make turbo smooth. And now step by step let's fix them. So let's press choose this one, press ring and add two segments, one to the top and one to the bottom. Let's do the same here. Let's make sure that the amount of space left is the same. Let's see how it looks like now. Looks better. Let's make it iterations too. Upper part is good. I just need to add one more segment here. Press ring and add connect. This time I'm gonna add one. And because it needs to be a little bit rounded, I'm gonna scale it like this. And like this. Now let's see. See it gets a little bit smoother. Maybe we're gonna play with this while server smooth is active. Yeah, this one is better. Okay. Now let's fix this part too. Let's add, select this one and choose ring, connect and bring it to the top. Great. Now let's add segments here too. Like select this one, press ring, isolate this object and add connect two connects one to the bottom one to the top let's make it 99 let's do the same here ring connect and let's create inset here Just add two more lines here. Connect this. Great. I'm gonna add two more here. Connect. We do the same here, ring, connect. So the logic is when these lines are together, near to each other, this part is gonna be straight, like less smooth. Okay, let's add straightness here too. Uh, let's Select this tree and go to the polygon and in these parts choose height unselected. Okay, now we know that these parts are smooth because we have polygons here. So basically we can delete these polygons, inner polygons, and the inner parts uh, are gonna be less smooth like normal. Now we need to create 
straight parts like add extra parts here and for this one I'm gonna click through these lines and just and choose ring I mean loop select all the way and I'm gonna add chamfer and with a very small number and I'm gonna add extra segment into the middle and after turbo smooth uh, they are gonna look super cool let's turn off the ed edged faces mm, it's great now if I go to polygon and press and hide all it's gonna look cool uh, I left I forgot to do the same with here so let's do it quickly same with this object too let's choose hide and select it let's delete the polygons and add chamfer by double clicking these edges and chamfer and segments here go back to polygon and unhide all and we have nice looking object here so let's go and isolate okay so let's create this back part which is holding this reflector object Mm, also we need to uh, because we have only three images and we don't know where how exactly back part looks we're gonna try to imitate I guess this back part goes like up and fixes to this big metal part by these screws and also there are some objects like little cylinder which connects to this back part and then goes all the way up and holds this upper part I guess so let's try to imitate first let's create this back part I'm gonna do it with line like it's it goes nearly this high and it's nearly the first line of this light like here so I'm gonna create a line here And drag it to the right and press shift so that it goes exactly straight 90 degree and press one time and make it go up until this line press and right click to finish so I have this kind of looking object let's go to modify and go to rendering let's enable rendering so that it turns into geometry and now let's change it from radial to rectangular now let's make it smaller and thicker and this is exactly what we are looking for needs to be a little bit thicker too this now let's turn it rotate it 90 degree and put it here actually we can align this exactly to center and then we move it where it needs to be something like this we can make it a little bit thicker like two millimeters 
and there is a quite big distance between them. So I get it goes all the way back to here. and this is uh, rounded this part is rounded so let's click the vertex which is here and go here and find the fillet and let's press here and drag it up to make it rounded look and the only part I don't love about this fillet that you can change it only once so I mean if you change it like this and you release your mouse you can't change it back so it's if you try to change it's gonna fill it second time so if you do, did something that you don't like press ctrl and z and do it again so I'm gonna type this 10 millimeters so this one is better okay now let's add another vertex here to add this line here now we can convert it to a tool poly and when we convert the any shape to geometry we have one extra segment either on the this part or is or in this part so I found it and now I'm gonna remove it okay now let's select these sides and press extrude okay let's make it a little bit bigger let's choose this second to be able to extrude from the middle okay this is good now let's create this big part Let's just create a plane. We can it to a little poly. And maybe we just align this to the bottom object. Choose align, center, center. Now let's make it higher. Okay and convert to edit tool poly and go to the upper edge and shift and drag to fill this part now let's make it upper part a little bit front something like this and move it back where it needs to be also add thickness by adding shell modifier let's make it one millimeter let's move it back that's it good now we need to create two screws here and it, they are basically the cylinders let's make it create it quickly to the cylinder let's create it by pressing auto grid so that it creates our screw exactly on our on our cylinder oh my god what happens it's the bug of 3 ds Max so that when I try to create an object on the front, it turns back to autographic. Okay, let's quickly save our scene before it crash. Let's press Steampunk Light. Okay, now let's create just cylinder normally without auto grid. Okay, at least it's created. 
make it really small. And put it where it needs to be. Yeah, I can't use my front view. Now I'm gonna place it in perspective mode. So no worries. Okay, like two screws here. Let's make it 24 sides or maybe 20. Just convert it to a little poly. Just press this vertices and connect them like this. Let's rotate it. Okay, now let's carry all this part down, something like this. Okay, now let's pick this polygon and this polygon and extrude. Not like 100, but a little bit. Okay. And that's our screw. Let's go back. And let's change the pivot to its center. And let's rotate. like this and now uh, we need to create these metal parts and the lamp itself so the metal part of the lamp goes inside of this object and then it starts creating like round shape here and the upper part is holding the glass so let's create these parts and then connect this with the line but I guess uh, we have we need to have one like some part of this object goes back and connects with this metal and also it attaches to this back but I'm looking here and here and I see that they are not connecting the back part and that's why I guess this part is different than back part. Okay, so let's add one box here, or maybe we just take add extra ring like to connect here. Okay, let's don't do that. Let's just take a box, I mean, chamfer box. Add it here. Let's see where exactly we need to put it. It's like somewhere to the middle. And then we're gonna add this screw like object here. I mean, let's see, let's create a cylinder. 
or rotate it 90 degrees let's make it 32 sides and align it here let's make it one millimeter Now let's create a small part here by creating inset. And choose extrude. And that way it goes inside of this box. And now let's select these edges by pressing ring. And let's choose extrude. To create spikes, because I think he, this object has a like gears, little, very little gears, so that people can turn it easily. Something like this. Okay, and now let's create the bulb itself. Let's hide this, or maybe, yes, let's hide this. And just create a cylinder with 16 sides. And let's align it to our object and bring it up. And then rotate it upwards. And let's adjust the radius. Okay, something like this. Let's come ready to edit the poly and press Alt X to see through this bulb. So what I'm gonna do is select all the polygons except these sides and delete this upper and lower polygon and start modeling with this border let's shift and drag now this part and down Okay, now let's add turbo smooth and also let's close this part. Let's like shift and scale down and then press collapse. Bring it up a little bit and add turbo smooth modifier with two iterations. And now my object became like a little rounded. But I don't I don't want that. Also I don't I want these parts to be straight. So let's add chamfer to this part. Or maybe we add okay, let's add chamfer here. Let's add chamfer here too. Now let's add several segments here. To make it straight okay now it's really looking cool okay now let's create this upper part which is like kind of holds this bulb from the top okay so we can create it exactly from this bulb let's take this part and press shift and 
bring it up and make it different object. Let's hide the bulb. Also, let's fix the pivot. And take this part and delete this. And let's see. Like it's okay. Let's press Shift and bring it up. Let's see, and this part it needs to be bigger, I guess. Press Shift and Scale and move it up, and then move, scale it down again. Okay, and then I guess we have this part. We have this part, so let's copy exactly this object to the top. Select object and press grow and then shift and copy to element to other object. Let's make it another object and change the color. Move it up all the way here. And here we need to add these two things. And it looks like a torus to me. And this part, I guess, is rotating part. It looks something like this part to me. And okay, let's. it down or maybe close this maybe collapse this also needs let's detach this part and change the color of this or maybe de delete this completely okay well, let's better change the color Fix the pivot and move it up. Also select this part, empty part, and collapse them here. Now we have 16 vertices, but now I wanted them to be more. Now I can chamfer them. Or maybe let's add turbo smooth. And then convert to the tool poly. Now let's see. We have like if we doesn't remove this part, we're gonna have six thirty two vertices. Just middle part. Okay, let's create another cylinder with uh, like thirty six sides. And align it here and now we can fix the radius delete this and height okay let's see we have little gap here let's make it height a little bit small now let's convert to a little poly let's extrude And let's select the side polygons and extrude them. But as we see, it goes 
to one side, but we want it to go through the local normal. Okay. Now let's select these edges, press ring, and choose extrude. Let's make it zero, zero. Something like this. It's okay. Okay, we also need to add one segment here because it looks too straight. Let's add one segment, which can be scaled like this so that it looks like rounded. Now let's add a turbo smooth. Now let's fix these parts. So let's add one here. Let's see how many chamfers we need to add. One here, one here, and these two sides. Let's add chamfer. Zero point zero five, and choose OK. OK, that's better. Now let's add chamfer to the top part two of turbo smooth iterations two. Let's add segments to the sides. Choose connect two segments and one goes to the top, one goes to the bottom. Let's add two more to the center. And that's it. Okay, now we need to add this part. Maybe we can use these polygons as these black areas and it goes down. Choose to be different objects. Or oh, maybe they can be a different element. here and uh, no but the, because they are different color let's make them separate objects let's go here to choose the touch and let's change the color uh, let's select all the polygons and choose extrude Okay, so let's press Turbo Smooth to see the result, and it's exactly what we're looking for. And let's fix the pivot, and maybe like two iterations, and this. Okay. We also need one round hole here. Let's do like this. Let's take this object, bring it up, and chamfer it. Yes, we need to create an exact rectangle here. And we need to add one extra line. the bottom something like this because we want all the polygons to be same nearly same size so we take this and choose extrude and we can delete this polygon also we can add Choose this uh, one of these inner segments, choose ring and add polygon near to the corner of this. 
and after two rows smooth uh, there's gonna be a hole but this hole looks exactly forward so we're gonna rotate this like this or maybe we need to rotate it to different side okay something like this now let's unhide everything oh my god the first one was right let's change it back okay also we need to add thickness to this object let's take this back and press shift and scale down and let's press shift and bring it back up and let's fix it from here it needs to be scaled down to this point like, like this good we also need to I guess add lines here let's make it connect two connects and separate them okay but if I want that if I want that it gets it touch my bulb I need to make it a little bit down let's move it while it's smooth something like this Yeah, that's better. Okay, what else we need to have here? Uh, we need to have these cables. So the cables come from right side and then go back and goes all the way down here uh, it means we need to have some hole here or maybe this kind of screw like a cylinder that cables go inside so let's create this let's create a cylinder small cylinder align this and it here let's make it 16 sides I'm totally improvising this because I have no idea what is what it's uh, actually look like so I'm deleting this lower polygon so let's create something like this we gonna I'm gonna create this black and from the inside of this black I'm gonna create this bronze and from inside of this I'm gonna create this cable so this is gonna be our black and from inside of this black I'm gonna copy create this small object let's change the color let's extrude And extrude again. This and inset and extrude it inside again. We can delete this now. Also, we need to. make it up create segments press shift and create new segments and again we don't need to close it or maybe we just press collapse 
just press turbo smooth and let's add turbo smooth here too so let's make two iterations and fix these parts like this one this one and this one also maybe this lower part so i'm gonna click here 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 and here and choose loop and add chamfer let's make it 0 0.01 millimeter and press ok and see how it looks looks cool but it doesn't look cool as I think because it's not as sharp as I want let's add chamfer again but this time I'm gonna add like two millimeters but I'm gonna want add extra segments in the middle of this chamfer so this is more sharp now that's better okay so let's add materials so it's gonna be black and it's gonna be bronze let's group them or maybe let's copy them and then group them now we need to align this so let's press align but we don't want all axis we just want x axis so this is cool now let's add cables i guess these are now too small let's scale it up like this bring it up okay now let's create lines Let's hide this part for now. Okay, maybe let's add all, let's hide all these parts. Let's create from here. Red line. more some hide all it goes here let's fix them now like Z form it goes right and then it goes left and it goes down so it goes right it goes left and then it goes let's change the middle part to the smooth right click smooth this one too this one too let's make 
this piece here. Something like this. Something like this. Let's now let's duplicate this. By holding shift and now we can control a boss together. Now I want to have a little bit variation. I don't want to be. I don't want them to be exact same. Okay, something like this. Okay. Okay, now I guess it's good. Okay, let's fix this site. We can add less interpolation and then later add turbo smooth. Or we can fix everything here. Let's try with Turbo Smooth version. Okay. Let's fix these lower parts. While the Turbo Smooth is still active. Smooth it down. We down to this part. Okay. Good. Okay, now the cables ready too. We need to add one more ring to this part, and it's going to be a little bit bigger. No, actually, it's going to be a little bit smaller, but fatter. And it's going to be the color of this cable.
okay now we what we left is this part and I'm gonna uh, I understand I guess this part this line this line goes from let's make it left this part goes from this area down to here and this box is for holding this line and it makes screw this is for holding this line now it makes sense let's align this to the box and cool and it's this hole needs to be a little bit down let's change let's move it down but now we need to add one extra segment here because if we don't these parts will be a little bit different looking see it's stretched up that's why we are adding these lines here like one line will need to go like this okay now I'm gonna make this go down and make it a little bit thicker yes also take this vertice and that fillet let's see okay this one is good now let's add sides like 16 is great and that's it now it makes sense it can be like this and cool really cool now let's add materials well, this is this gonna be black this one is gonna be black this one too screws are browns this one is bronze this one and this one bronze this one is black this one is black too also this one is bronze this one is black what else uh, okay we have this switch here it's like basically a six cornered sphere like object with the hole inside let's try to create this also let's create the material for this okay now Also, we gonna create this inside parts of this light. But first, we let's create this. Basically, we're gonna create a cylinder for the sixth side. Maybe twenty sides, twelve sides. Convert to editable poly and rotate it like this. 90 degree align it here and bring it forward like this and we know that it gets a little bit bigger than this metal part let's scale it like this okay now what we need to do is like inset this
and move it forward. Now let's do like this. Let's select these edges. Like well, let's select one and not select other. And scale them down, but with the first one here. Let's make it five as previous one. Let's go ring one step back. Like something wrong with that. Let's select it by hand. Okay. Something like this. Now if we let's add chamfer here. Let's extrude it inside. Maybe we need to first make inset and then we're gonna make extrude to inside. Okay, we can delete this. Now let's add turbo smooth and see how it looks. We forgot to delete this back part. Okay, looks like a, let's bring it forward like this. Okay, but what else we need to have is this roundness. So let's do like this. Let's maybe add one here one segment let's see set one and choose the vertice okay and now let's bring the vertice forward let's Deselect the rear vertices and go like this. See how it looks. Yeah, it looks nice. But we need to connect this with something at least. Let's see how it's gonna work with these ones. It looks fine. Let's Connect these ones together. Okay. Good. Now we have silver ring here. I guess this hole is smaller. Let's go and like this, and let's create a sphere. Create a sphere, and align it here. Let's rotate it and scale it down. Also, let's decrease the segments like 12. Also, take this first vertice and chamfer it. Take this one and extrude it. Maybe make this one bigger too. 
and let's rotate it like this it's like turned on or off i don't know let's make it inside let's add extra line here maybe two and like this now we can add turbo smooth to fix this we need to add inset here make collapse good now we need to add a ring and it's basically the tube let's rotate it 90 degree and align it here now let's change to radius Just height. Okay. Let's add chamfers. Choose this one and ring, and then loop. Select all, and then chamfer. It's really little chamfer. And add throw smooth. Okay. So let's see. It's black. It's the bronze and it's the silver. Let's group it and end isolate. Okay, now let's add the inside parts of the bulb and that's it. Our model is ready. So let's see. We have one thing goes here and we have a spiral here. Something like this. So let's go back here, select this part and scale it once very small and then a little bit bigger. Let's do a little bit smaller again and bring it up like here. Yes. Maybe we need to make it bigger. Like we need to make these parts a little bit bigger. Okay, now let's bring it up. Let's scale it down and bring it up again. All the way to this part. Okay. Let's close this part collapse let's see how it looks like after turbo smooth it looks terrible we need to add chamfers here chamfer good now let's add lines So it's going to be like this line, but it's going to be very thick inside. It's going to be four sides because it's going to be really small, like really thin, 0 0.01 millimeter. Let's duplicate this. First, let's bring it. the center and now let's let's make it center and now let's rotate it 90 degree 
let's rotate it 90 degree and let's duplicate them down let's see how many one two three four five six seven eight I guess we need to duplicate them eight times let's make it bigger okay so one here like four like this now I'm gonna create helix okay now let's create helix there's our helix let's adjust the height And let's make it eight turns. Something like this. Let's change the color so that it's visible. Okay, now I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. And then convert to editable spline. And from there, it's going to go down and isolate. It's going to go in down. And then we're going to create two more vertices here. And they are going really down something like this okay I guess our model is ready we just need to duplicate these ones like, let's make it group make it group and let's now let's copy here and make it instance and let's copy here too and what we left is create one box and align it here but without this Z position now let's select this one and select this one and choose extrude and press collapse so it looks like this let's add black here too and now we have exact this model is this silver I guess I'm gonna add this material to here to these parts or maybe entire object is from this yes I guess so so let's okay so we're gonna add materials later and so we're gonna create another video for the materials and rendering part of this cool looking steampunk light object so thank you for your patience and see you on next tutorials. Thank you a lot.